Today we're going to talk about returning serves. Now returning serves can be really tough. It's probably the most difficult part of table tennis for a lot of players. But I want to make returning serves a little bit easier for you. So in this video, I'm going to share an approach to returning serves, a simplified approach, which will hopefully help you return more of those tricky serves that you struggle with. So for me, one of the big reasons why returning serves is difficult is uncertainty. You don't know what the server is going to do, what spin is going to be on the serve, where the serve is going to go, over there, over there. Is the serve going to be fast? Is it going to be slow? Is it going to be long? Is it going to be short? Is it going to be light spin? Is it going to be heavy spin? Lots of possibilities and lots of uncertainty. And then you have all of the options of returning serves. Should you push? Should you flick? Should you block? Should you chop? Should you topspin? Should you be aggressive? Should you play safe? Ah, again, lots of options and too much uncertainty. And here's the problem. Too much uncertainty can lead to weak returns. If you're worried about your opponent's serves and uncertain about which shot you should play, you're likely to get a bit nervous, a bit anxious, and end up kind of passively prodding at the ball, and then bad things tend to happen. The ball goes into the net, or it shoots off sideways, or long past the end of the table, or it pops up high, giving your opponent an easy attack. Too much confusion, too much worry, too much uncertainty. One way to address all the uncertainty is to simplify your approach to returning serves. So instead of worrying about whether you should push or block or chop or flick or drive or topspin, you could take a much simpler approach. Here's some footage of me playing with my teammate James. See if you can notice how he returns all of my serves. Did you get it? Hopefully the answer was fairly obvious to you. What was James doing? He was top spinning everything. And this is something that you could do too. Backspin serve, top spin it. Side spin serve, top spin it. Top spin serve, top spin it. Whatever serve your opponent gives you, you can play a topspin stroke. Whether this is a flick over the table, or whether it's a loop off the end of the table. Topspin, everything. For some players, this makes returning serves a lot easier to do. So instead of approaching the table and being kind of worried and uncertain about what shot you should be playing, should I be pushing, should I be blocking, should I be driving? No, instead, you approach the table and you say to yourself, you know what, I don't care what you're going to serve because whatever you're going to serve, I'm going to try and topspin it. Now this massively reduces the decision making and gives you a real focus when returning serves. So the only real decision you've got to make is whether to spin up more if it's a backspin ball, or spin forwards more if it's a topspin or sidespin serve. So that's a lot less to think about compared to all the other options of touching and pushing and blocking and driving and chopping.
There are other benefits to this approach too. Number one, topspin gives you more control. Okay, Playing topspin strokes helps you override the server's spin to a certain extent. So you don't have to worry quite so much about the amount of spin on the serve. Number two, topspin is safe. Because of the flight of the ball is up and then it comes back down, it gives you a bit more of a safety margin to clear the net. And number three, topspin is positive. You get the first attack in and you can put your opponent under pressure straight away. This should help you take control of the rally more often. Okay, so this approach isn't going to work for everyone. If you don't have much confidence in playing top spin strokes and flicks, you know, you're probably going to struggle to make this work for you. But if you can play top spin strokes and flicks, then give it a go. Just top spin every serve, see how you get on. You'll need to practice it a lot against different players, different types of serves, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes and it does take a lot of uncertainty out of returning serves and you'll be putting your opponents under pressure straight away. So if you get a bit nervous, get a bit worried, get a bit uncertain when you're returning serves, just yeah, take this approach. Just try topspin everything, topspin everything, see how you get on. So there you go. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more table tennis lessons. And also please check out my website for even more table tennis tips at www.tabletenniscoach.me.uk.